So today, I just wanted to document the progress I, I've had with this uh, particular gimbal here. Um, I may have shown it on Instagram a few times uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe months ago. I've been using it for a long time, but I uh, haven't really shown anyone. It's kind of been a work in progress, always tuning and tweaking. Um, and as you can tell, it still kind of looks like a monster here. It's, uh, you know, all the wires are exposed. Everything's just kind of open, um, but it works well. And what I like about it is it's super, super lightweight, super compact. Um, designed just for my GH4 and right now I have the Rokinon fisheye lens which I use a lot for um, real wide angles and then I defish it. Great for interior type shots but the weight of that lens is similar to a 20 millimeter f1.7 and also the uh, 14 millimeter pancake so I can switch through different lenses um, with just this gimbal here and pretty much covers uh, a good amount of things that I would use with a stabilizer. Uh, but basically, if I show it to you, um, the gimbal will fold down to about 11 by 14. So very compact. All of this um, at the top here is 15 millimeter accessories. So these handles come off very quickly with just one twist of a clamp. Come right off. Top handle comes off. The top bar comes off. Everything is very, very modular. As a matter of fact, um, what you probably don't see is uh, this joystick mounted over here is on a quick release clamp so if i loosen this clamp here then i can um, pull the joystick off of the top handle and that way i can remove the entire top bar and uh, not have to worry about the joystick uh, wiring being run through the top bar so that's why some of the wires are exposed is because i want to break everything down if you run all your wires through your piping uh, then you can't take it apart so um, anyways that's why my joystick is here I'm able to locate it right next to the handle so it works great now the unit the unit is off right now and but what you could see is if I tilt back the uh, or forward it's not swinging around and then if I if I tilt the handles over you notice that it's not swinging around as well and if you do that with your gimbal and it starts swinging everywhere as you tilt either sideways or if you tilt forward then uh, you're not balanced so again this unit is turned off right now but it's uh, pretty pretty well balanced um, okay so let me turn it on let me just show you guys what it could do all right so um, I also have the joystick in place where I set up some profiles I can go in and calibrate my gyros if I want press it five times Okay, so uh, I've calibrated the gyros. Now um, you can see joystick works. So I can go up, I can go down, I can go left and right. I also have my follow modes so I can follow, follow, follow up, follow down. Let's see, going too fast. Follow up. Follow down and follow. It's very smooth. And then I could go all the way up. So everything's tuned to be very, uh, very smooth, very slow. Um, so it's very gradual. So works really, really well. Now, I know it's small, but it uh, can do a lot. So um, over here, I have FNV's latest uh, Spectra HD. It's a uh, 4.3 inch HD monitor. So it's HD at four inches, very small, very compact, tons of software features in here. Check it out. Um, but I have a clamp up here that I can mount. And then I have a stud on this monitor. Now this stud, the way I have it set up it's probably not a good angle for you guys. But the way I have it set up is with the, the stud, I can position the monitor at, at different angles, left or right. And then I'll clamp that down. Now if I'm shooting high or low and I need to see the screen, I loosen this clamp here. 
which will allow me to either tilt the monitor this way if I'm sorry if I'm shooting with the gimbal up I could tilt the monitor this way or tilt it back if I need to if I'm doing like a low angle shot so I can add a monitor to this gimbal here and there's just enough clearance in this frame I made it just big enough so I can run an HDMI cable there I could still get to my SD card um, so then let me show you one other thing that I did uh, which really adds to uh, the stabilizer let me just turn this on okay so another thing um, is adding a light to the stabilizer now I've been doing some interior stuff that's why I'm working with a really really wide lens and uh, doing kind of some follow shots and I wanted to add a light uh, so for that um, this is photo deoxys uh, what do they call this flapjack ultra thin LED light panel now I could use any LED light um, but the difference with this flapjack <clears throat> is the way the light works all the LEDs are on the outside so there's nothing in the center and all the LEDs point towards the center and then it shoots in the middle so what you get is a very soft very diffused light extremely flattering for uh, subjects um, very easy to look at very broad light so you don't need soft boxes you don't need modifiers you don't need diffusers or filters or anything like that one thin ultra uh, you know ultra thin light here very large panel very bright if you want it to be um, and very flattering as well so let me just kick this on so if it was dark in here, this light is actually very easy to look at. I'll pump it up a little bit so you can see kind of what that looks like. Very, very cool light. And um, I'm just using a uh, clamp here with a uh, light stand uh, stud here. And that would go up onto the top handle here. Let me see. Sorry, I wasn't truly prepared to do all this for you guys just kind of show and tell right now but let me kick on this light and um, yeah so there you go this gimbal is a crazy lightweight well you know not with the light but I'm able to do a follow shot I have uh, I'm lighting my subject I'm lighting the space um, so I don't have to boost my ISO very high but uh, you see the gimbal is very responsive still have my follows and then I can add my uh, monitor here so yeah it's not bad not very heavy at all very cool if you're shooting with small cameras like a GH4 or a7s let me take this off here and just show you guys this uh, gimbal is so lightweight it's really, really great to travel with. But uh, just jam my pinky in here, right there. Holding up my gimbal with my pinky. So, can't do that with the Ronin, right? Yeah. But it's getting there. And I probably knocked out a dozen projects with it. Uh, so, you know, it's paid for itself, I guess. But anyways, just wanted to share that, where I was at with this, and uh, there'll be more. Um, I'm hoping to actually do more with this where it's actually uh, official and not so kind of half-assed put together. Um, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. If you have any questions about this stuff, check out the blog, cheesycam.com.